Assassin's Creed. Witcher clones. Oh, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk not about really. Assassin's Creed. How about we just, okay. about, how just, about we just don't? Unless we're talking about real life history. That's all I'll ever talk about now. I love that I, I now like have life my Assassin's Creed audience that has been subscribed to me for eight years. And I'm still making them videos for them that's Assassin's Creed related, but I never have to play an Assassin's Creed game ever again. I love that. So I figured it out. Play I've, AC Ragnarok? I've broken the system. Who knows? If it looks shit, no. If I think, I look at it, I'm like, that is genuinely like... You knew Odyssey was going to be bad, right? Like, we knew that going in. I knew that. Everyone else was saying, like, ah, you know, we have fun Greece RPG. And who was right? I was right for once. Yeah, um, but yeah for right you're once. Yeah, yeah, you were usually right. I'm, usually, you know, usually I'm like, Syndicate's a 8 out of 10. And whatever. Rogue is the second else. best Assassin's um, game. Yeah, be. sometimes that as well. Um, but, you know, this time I was right. From the very get-go, I was like, Od- Odyssey is going to be shit. It's going to be complete shit. And I was right, and it was complete shit. And there is not one redeeming factor of that shit game. And every time... I fucking tabbed onto George's stream. Because I-, I had nothing to do for this past week. And I was... Oh, I, you know, I was in bed for most of it. So George was streaming Odyssey because for some reason he's streaming all of Odyssey, and I hate it. So I why is why is he I doing went on. That? I don't yeah, know, is, and I hate it. Like if he, does does he hate life? Is he just like it's no, so I don't weird? Have a, anything to do? So here I am. Because if he wanted to just play through the DLC, then fair enough, I guess. Like he wanted to play that, have a laugh. He's never played it before, and it would be fun to stream out. I guess oh or whatever. But he's playing the whole main game again, like a fucking idiot. And he's why? also I, I, like it I pisses me off, right? On top of it as well, I was watching the stream. And he's doing all these other things, like he's doing all of these legendary animal bosses and going to the fucking war arena, as if the game is well made and worth your time to do all those bonus things. Like I'm, <laughs> I want to knock him out, but unfortunately we're social distancing and I can't do that. And we're that's the reason I social distancing. Knock him out. So I can't. Um, <laughs> that's the most but... 2020 thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, I can't knock him out because we're social distancing and we can't do it, so it won't do yeah. it. Unfortunately, I can't fight him. So I want to knock him out, but I'm afraid he'll catch the disease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to kill him. Um, what? Just chin him. Just chin the Exactly. Fine. No, I find it really weird that um, George has gone, you know what, instead of doing 20 to 30 hours of mind-numbing, boring filler, I'm going to do 100 hours of mind-numbing, yeah, boring filler. Yeah, I don't filler. know. I got him to play oh, that, that side quest, that though. The really, really bad day. Oh, one really bad day. I convinced day. him to play that, oh, that was, and that was fun. That side quest is so bad. It's like, that is bad. so bad possibly one of the worst no, quests I, I, i've ever played in my life um i actually probably i was probably i probably hit rock bottom while editing the video i made on that quest oh my it god it was fucked i remember streaming it, it. Just, i just just i i'd have no words just no it's so it, bad i don't understand uh, it, and people go and, and people go oh, it's a comedy quest if you not like it just but it's it's not it's not just a comedy quest is it it's it's a complete shift of tone. Oh, it's a mess. Into some, into some utter you nonsense. You just don't know comedy, right? okay. man. You just do not know comedy. <laughs> so, does, does is Tyler aware of how this quest goes? No, we talked about not. it a while ago, but uh, yeah, probably no, I don't know what you're talking about at all. No, to jog your memory, you, you basically you meet a guy. His name's Megacles, and he's a bit of a dickhead. I called him Megatron because that sounded similar, and that's something I can actually of remember. Course. Now he sends you to go to sink some ships to help his reinforcements and their pirate ships so you sink them you go back and he's like you just sunk, you just sunk the reinforcements could you not hear me screaming no i was miles away but then you get sent off to try, prepare this village for like um, an, an assault invasion, from yeah. bandits What's so first you go to a blacksmith right and it at, first you go to the no this gets fucked first you go to a blacksmith and he's blind and so he's like i don't have any metal so you throw metal at him and then it just falls on the floor in front of him. And then he says, now I need to get my tools. So you go get his tools. And, and he also asks you to move some bricks to set up his table. So you just drop bricks in no particular order on the at ground, the front yeah. of his house. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. And he's like, thank you, th- thank you, Mystios, because everyone calls the um, Cassandra that. And then... Um, and well, then no, my, it's, you mean Alexios, because I picked Alexios because I hate women, so... Um, yes, same. Um, but no. But then he then he trips over and all his equipment falls on him and kills him. 
and then oh my god and then the, then you you walk off and you talk to a dog and go i've seen lots of i've i've seen lots of stuff in my life but that was brutal and then the quest to the dog. ends that's like the end of that first bit of the quest <laughs> and it's just this end. man this blind man that's just died because he tripped over the bricks <laughs> that you put on the ground all of his tools fell on him and it has like this comedic timing where like all of the tools have fell on him cassandra walks away and then when one then final one falls. tool falls on him it's be like Haha, that's epic funny it's that's just, epic <laughs> funny it's so ridiculous. Then you got the other one where you have to oh, go get a horse for got... someone. The woman thinks it's Pegasus. Yeah, this one's great. And she just so when you bring the horse back, she gets on the horse and she just rides the horse off the edge of this cliff. <laughs> and her and the horse ragdoll to the ground, and it looks absolutely <laughs> fucking oh, ridiculous. God. And Cassandra's just like, oh, God, no. "This is going to be a long day." And oh my god, that I is can't. the most. No, see... a, by the way, that's the most AC Odyssey line of all time. By the way, that 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 exact thing. And you <laughs> and it. I don't like that you do Cassandra's voice so well as well. That's another thing I don't like. <laughs> uh, I don't like yeah, that. That's also that. exactly what Cassandra would say. Thing is though, oh thing god. is though, there's another thing that I noticed in that quest is when George was playing. I noticed that the horse is referred to as a stallion. Oh like, yeah. So when you pick it up, it's referred to as a stallion. You get back to this woman, and she and she shouts. Princess Purple Pie! <laughs> what the fuck is that name? A Princess B Stallion. Oh my what? And then god. And the, then the horse accepts riding off the cliff to its death. It's and it was so really weird. bad. And, that's and canon, then the final so. third of this, and then the final third of this little um, absolute debacle is, you've met a guy who thinks he's some big dick god, and he's like, I've got this helmet on and it makes me immortal, so prove it. So you set him on fire and he dies. I was like, oh, Jesus That's Christ. The whole then you go thing, back yeah. to Megacles, Megatron, Megacles, whatever you want to call him. And it's like, right, okay, let's let, let's fight these bandits and that. So then you fight the bandits through this place. And then you have to find this fake... Mystios. Mystios yeah. of... Yeah, basically a fake eagle bearer. So you go up to this cliff and you see him stood there with a chicken. And then you have like this Mexican standoff where it pans from um, Cassandra slash Alexios to the fake one to Icarus to the chicken. And the chicken makes a little cluck. Oh my god! And then and the music you cuts out and makes the cluck as well. But the the thing that makes this quest absolute peak odyssey is after <laughs> every bad thing that happens, after it all settles down, you just hear the odyssey music playing. And it says quest completed. <laughs> and and <laughs> it was, it really, oh no, that that was really horribly timed in a lot of situations. Oh one of them that god. made me laugh really bad was in um one of the DLCs um. Was I can talk one, about the, um, where how like, shit Odyssey was all day. By the way, I just want to point that out. No, no, this one's this one. This one's great. Though. No, I'm being serious. I'm not. I'm that actually isn't sarcasm. I, I, love I do enjoy this game. game. It's my favorite. Okay, I could have taken that because it actually it's genuinely is the funniest fucking game of all time. So it is just bright. It's just fun. The only it's things just, that Quebec have ever made are like parodies of of Assassin's Creed. Like to me, Syndicate was kind of like a Monty Python attempt parody of Assassin's Creed, but almost like. Oh, it's a serious parody. They're generally trying to do a British parody. But this is, like, generally so retarded that it's just a parody. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's like it's actually the most disabled retarded game. people. Yeah. Like, they, it's it, it, so Like, it's like bad. a Make-A-Wish game. Oh, it's so bad. It's so yeah, fucking bad. This is bad. Wish Assassin's Creed for sure. No, um, this quest is in the fate of Atlantis, and basically, there's all, apparently there's, like, a werewolf sort of thing oh, getting about. Yes. So you have to find it. You have to find it. It turns out to be this woman. So sh she immediately goes, "I'm going to kill myself." So she's about to throw herself off this high, high bill. <laughs> oh god, it's too bad. It's <laughs> uh, so high spot. But you're already in the fucking afterlife or something, right? Well, no, it's the Atlantis actually. Sorry, that's my own fault. It's um, like a weird like simulation you world. You can choose to save her. You can choose to save her by what you say, but because I don't give a fuck and this game's giving me no reason to give a fuck, I'm like, kill yourself. Yeah. So she falls, she, she, she leans forward and falls off <laughs> and then just ragdolls on the way down, slowly dragging and hits the ground really softly <laughs> and flies off. And then, and then, and then you see, then you see Alexio slash Cassandra just cry a little bit and then the quest ends and the Odyssey music plays. <laughs> it's okay. so funny. Like this woman just committed suicide and then it get pushed back into the game. It's like, di, di, di. like, what are we doing? Here, yeah, and, it's, uh, and let me guess, it's just an obscure number, like six, 67,893 XP gains. Like, wait, what? Where does that number <laughs> and come from? And it takes your bar up like <laughs> <Yeah>. 3%. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. god yeah no i find it really weird that um when i laughed at that on my stream people were in the comments going how dare you joke about suicide that is unacceptable oh blah blah god. blah um this is a serious moment etc and i'm like but, but it isn't a, for okay. a it isn't but second of all the, you should be getting mad at quebec for making jokes about yeah, suicide. exactly because 
Oh, and it's, it's not it's not my fault that this was poorly executed. If anything, the fact that it's poorly executed is more insulting in this matter than me laughing oh, at this so shit bad. example. And on top of that, to top it, was... it all off, the reason she's a werewolf is because when a human comes into contact with an apple of Eden, it turns you into a werewolf for some reason now. Oh, does it not? That's, that's, that's why. Um, <laughs> so there you go. Does anyone remember the time that um, Ezio touched the apple and turned into a micro pig? No? Oh, I remember. <laughs> is that only me that remembers that remember. Mandela that effect or epic. something, right? Yeah, it is uh, a Mandela effect, on. I think. I think that's yeah. what that is. It was, yeah. it's, it's, it was I've their come from way a different of. Um, to you boys. It was the way of explaining off the mythical beasts that are in the main games, so like the, the, the uh, fucking Medusa and whatever else those bloody people it was their way of explaining that off like when when humans come into contact with pieces of eden it turns them into monsters um and there's 17 apple of edens in greece there's so many apple of eden but then they're like but that's not really an apple of eden actually i'm like well it is though isn't it because it's an apple of eden it just is it just is an apple of eden it's weird as well because it's like there's like a little bit of like metal lodged in the fucking thing after you kill it and she takes it out and then it just transforms into an apple of eden and it's like oh okay Cool, I guess. Yeah. What the fuck are you even doing yeah, with just... them all? Like, what? what is going on? How did you get these? It's so yeah, odd. Wh- where did you find them? Oh, uh, it's, it's horrid. It's such a oh, bad game. Can you game. imagine? Oh, my God. Can you imagine the landscape of the entire franchise of Assassin's Creed will be different? If in the first game, when Al Mualim was fighting Al Toyer, he transformed into a bear or something. Yeah, well, he should have done. No, it'll be a... Because he doesn't have first Civ different... DNA, so he should have turned into a bear. But he didn't. Yeah, it exactly. should turn into something. So really, AC1 Probably doesn't adhere beard, to the yeah. law of the Assassin's Creed franchise, is what the issue is here. Anymore? No, it doesn't, no. <laughs> to be Assassin's fair. Creed 1 doesn't fit in anymore. But We're do you know what Assassin's Creed 1 Cassidy. does fit into? The real history of the history. Assassins. And if you want to learn about that, check out my video of uh, AC The Truth, where I talk about the real history of the Assassins, if you want to learn some real history. Because that's the only thing left my of God, Assassin's Creed. AC you know The Truth what, is though? about law, now to our real history. And in real true. history, the Assassin's Creed games are part of real world history. Back in 2007, Assassin's Creed came out on the Xbox 360 and PS3. So really, you could do a video on the games if you want to. But frame well, it from the history. If you want to numb history. everyone's minds and maybe encourage half of your audience to commit suicide, then I agree. You could definitely talk about when the games came out. Part of me really hopes uh, that uh, the next Assassin's Creed game is just as bad as Odyssey. Just because I like hating it. I like hating it. I really You do. like being right. I, That's what really we like doing. That all along we were I right all these years and now yeah. more than... And we, we just keep getting more and more right about how when bad it is. When people are like, give it a chance. Just give it another chance. Maybe next year they'll get it right. Like, I've been doing that since 2014. Like, you know, 